In January of 1993, my wife Kathy and I came to Haiti for the first time. And we were moved by the poverty, we were moved by all the problems that, that faced us. And we would leave, go back to the United States, and then we'd say to ourselves, and then what? We found that a dream had already been planted in the, the minds of both Pastor Jean-Marie from saint Ar and Miss Phyllis Newby, a missionary who had been placed in Haiti and called by God there. So we came alongside them and with the help of many people from many states and several countries, a hospital was built. À chaque fois que je parle de l'hôpital, je pense toujours que c'est le rêve qui est mieux. Il y a beaucoup de difficultés pour que les gens puissent aller au prince, ils viennent dans l'hôpital. Many car accidents on the road, motorcycles, so a lot of people die on the road going. So now we got hospital here. Non seulement la situation géographique, nous, mais mon communauté a aimé venir l'hôpital là, non seulement pour qualité de service là, mais c'est pour prix que nous jouons le service là. I can say it's a blessing for the community. Thankfully, as the hospital has grown, as the hospital has progressed, there are so many things happening. There's a prosthetic lab, there are surgeries happening, there are general medicine happening, there are babies being born, there's an emergency department, there's a pharmacy department, there are so many things happening that is totally beyond us. The staff is entirely Haitian. Physicians, nurses, dentists, lab techs, and support personnel all have a place to be and a place to be part of a family. Our dream for this hospital in the future is that there won't be a need for a missionary from a foreign country. It can be totally Haitian-driven, Haitian-supported, and Haitian-run, independent of those from elsewhere. I believe this is a particular place that God is visible, God is palpable, and God's doing some great things. And we all have to work together to keep it moving forward.